Hey, welcome back to Jazztime. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you'd purchase your next watch from us at jazztime.com. Today I'll be taking a look at the Rolex Day Just this one, the 36 millimeter, uh, with the white, or sorry, silver fluted dial with the fluted motif and the rose gold uh, fluted bezel two-tone bracelet, what they call the Rolzor type of construction here. The reference number for this one, 126231. I'll be going over the case, the bezel, the dial, the crown functions, as well as the movement and the bracelet. And I'll be giving you my thoughts on these throughout this video. So starting off with the case, we have 36 millimeters from finger to thumb, two to eight o'clock position, or the 10 to four o'clock position. Same distance, same 36 millimeters. You have the monoblock middle case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown, ensuring water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. You have overall a nice high polished construction on the case as well as you know with even the screw down case back all of that making it extremely watertight and on the front as well a nice high polish evident on these lugs tapering down to the integrated bracelet gives a very nice uh very highly lustrous and very beautiful presentation and made with oyster steel uh, rolex's own proprietary blend of both the highest grades of steel and just the right minerals to make it extremely reflective and highly lustrous. It looks extremely beautiful on the wrist. Sitting on the very front of this case, we have the, what they call Everose Gold Fluted Bezel. Everose Gold referring to the fact that this is a rose gold that lasts far longer on, you know, than any other rose gold on the market because other rose golds tend to sort of tarnish over time and actually lose their color and basically turn to a yellow gold or maybe even a dirtier sort of a warm, extremely warm gold. But Rolex's rose gold, basically ever rose gold, keeps its colors intact for many, many years, far longer than any other rose gold on the market. All of that basically encircling basically the star of the show here. And that's the silver fluted motif dial. Now there's a lot of things to go over with here because not only is it just a very nice pattern, but it's the pattern of basically the fluted uh, portions of the bezel as it plays in the light, basically echoed onto this dial and in a vertical layout and done so extremely precisely. Well, not extremely precisely. It's, it's laid out perfectly in such that if you take any two index marks, you'll find that they'll be placed uh, exactly in the same respective spots uh, based on the pattern and as well, also everything perfectly centered. All of these uh, sort of hexagonal shapes uh, divided in half with one side being a sort of like that sunray or sunburst pattern that is typical of date just dials and the other half being a matte finish so not only do you have you know the classic date just look but also something very new and very interesting and it's not coming across on my monitoring so i doubt you'll see it in the video but it's absolutely beautiful it's it's a dial that looks far better in person than in any pictures or videos. You have to see it in person to actually fully appreciate all the finishing and the precision put into this dial. Something that that's only currently available on the Rolex Datejust. This one, the 36 millimeter, makes it very, very unique and something that, you know, I think everyone should at least experience at least once in their life. The hour marks themselves, uh, nothing too new here. Also 18 karat Everose gold uh, applied index marks with chromolite feature on them, basically meaning that it has the longest lasting uh, glow in the dark or you know luminescence essentially. Uh, and it's also the brightest clipping my highlights, but it does have a bluish tint to them uh, rather than the sort of greenish tint that you'd find on just about every other uh, watch model that has luminescence. All right, also found on the hour, hours and minutes hands and also that second hand, not loomed, but you know, got that nice classic Lance style to it. Now looking here at the crown functions, nothing too new. 
well, in fact, nothing new if you've seen any other videos here about Rolex Datejust. Unscrew it, first position lets you wind the watch, 10 to, or 20 to 30 full winds, gets you from a dead stop to the full power reserve. Pull it out to the next position. You can advance the date forward by rotating it clockwise. It's about between a, around a quarter turn to advance it forward. And if you find yourself a time traveler, well, you can do so quite quickly. Pull the crown out to the final position and note that the seconds hand will in fact stop right where you happen to pull it out. And this allows you to set the time precisely by moving the minute hand and by extension the hour hand as well. So you can then set the time nicely and easily using the, uh, the track at the edge of the dial. Very, very clear and easy to see, although not the center of the show. It's only there when you really need to see it. Uh, very, very good sense of understanding visual hierarchy here in uh, with the designers at Rolex. Simply place the minute hand where it should go, press the crown back in once you've got it nicely synced, and, synced up to an atomic clock, and screw the crown back tightly against the case to ensure the water resistance. Now, what makes all this work on the inside? Can't see it through the case back, but you do have that solid steel for that added protection. It's a 3235 caliber made in-house by Rolex, meaning you have the plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, giving you the superlative chronometer certification as printed on this and every Rolex style. The center hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous date with the rapid setting and the stop seconds for precise time setting. Those features I had just demonstrated using the winding crown. The oscillator on the inside features a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with high performance paraflex shock absorbers, meaning that you can get relatively close to circuits or anything that you know emits an electromagnetic potential in potentially uh, interfering electromagnetic waves and there won't be any effect on the movement or timekeeping ability of the watch. Taking a few bumps here and there, no effect either. Also, the winding occurs through a bi-directional self-winding rotor center mounted on the inside so you can basically wear the watch after having wound it, of course, and just wear it all day. It will charge up that power reserve up to 70 hours at a time. So that's basically three whole days. You can set it down Friday evening, pick it back up Monday morning the following week. No need to wind the watch, just put it on your wrist, wear it all day Monday, you're back to full. All right, and while I'm zoomed out here, you can see that we do have the bracelet here. It's the Oyster bracelet, flat three piece links across. The center links being the Everose gold with the outer portions being the satin brush finished oyster steel, giving it a very nice two-tone contrast there. High polish along the sides as well. Taper down to the Rolex folding clasp with the raised crown logo, complete with my fingerprints there, of course. Lift from the top to open it, unhook it. You have the full Rolex logo on the inside with the steel construction, as you can see. The added benefit to the folding clasp you have the five millimeter easy link extension. So very good if you happen to hydrate yourself, say you pounded three liters of water just now, well, your wrist will naturally swell. That's just natural. No one's gonna see it or feel it, but you certainly will. Just simply reach under here, pull it straight out. There you go, another half oyster link, or basically another Jubilee link if you have the Jubilee bracelet. We no longer need it. You've done some exercise. You've lost some of that extra water weight. You can just simply fold it back in on itself and it clips in very nicely and easily back into the clasp there. And while I'm here, I'll try it on my wrist once more and show you what it looks like on a seven inch wrist. And this one, the Datejust 36, for me, honestly, the best size, the perfect size uh, for me. I like to write small, I do everything small. I work with small things. Heck, I would like even a small watch. And to me, even though it would, some people say that this is small, and that say a 41 would actually suit me better, but I actually like this a lot more because hey, I'm the one wearing it. I like to see the full framing. 12 o'clock and six o'clock sides, I get to see the bracelet. I get to feel the bracelet as well. It looks good and feels just right on my wrist, a little bit more round than flat, of course. Looking straight down the arm here to the wrist, we have basically no space under the lugs there because, well, it fits me just fine. It will certainly fit anyone with a smaller wrist, maybe even six or even five and a half inches in circumference. You have the uh, sportier uh, oyster bracelet here. Basically keeps its tolerances among the links so that it will never pinch your skin, pull hairs out, always feels comfortable and vents the wrist and wicks away sweat and grit and all of that 
good stuff that you don't want on your wrist, well, basically you can wear this watch all day without a feeling discomfortable, uncomfortable at all, without feeling discomfort. And taking a look again here, straight on, this watch, well, this specific pattern, very, very interesting because, well, again, you can only get this with the Datejust models, the fluted motifs. This one, the silver fluted motif, you can only get with the two-tone version with the Everose Gold. There's a blue version that comes on all steel with the white gold fluted bezel, and there's also a golden version with the two-tone white or two-tone, sorry, yellow gold and steel combinations there. This one, very unique because, well, again, you can only get it on this dial and watch configuration. However, the silver actually does take a, a bit of a muted presence compared to the other colors of this dial. And even though it is a bit muted, that doesn't mean that it's any more, any less than. So, because it's all in the details and it's for someone who really appreciates the fine workmanship rather than just simply appearance and presence. It's all about the precision and the perfection to which Rolex holds themselves. And honestly here, if you wear this, I'm going to think you're one of them too, as someone who just wants nothing less than absolute perfection. All right. But enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this Rolex Datejust 36 with the silver fluted motif dial, oyster bracelet, fluted, Everose gold bezel, two-tone of course. The reference number for this one again 126231. If you like this video, hit the like button. Be sure to comment. Let us know what you think about it. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch, we can get it for you at Jazz Time now. It's early 22 as of, 2022 as of the filming of this video. So even though it is a 2021 model, we can start getting these a little bit more easily now. Uh, hit the link in the description below to go to our website at jazztime.com. You can see the entry for this watch as well as the Jubilee bracelet version. We can get those for you, no problem. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on the mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.